Foods. You're short. You're fat. You'll find them just right. Weeknights at 11 on WGBO-TV, Joliet, Chicago. We hope you've enjoyed today's feature. Be with us tonight at 6 as Creature Feature Day continues with The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. Tonight at 6 on Super 66. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. A new character is introduced in Back to the Future Part 3. Clayton. Clara Clayton. Mary Steenburgen plays a school teacher that Doc saves from certain disaster. When she meets the Doc, it's like nothing ever made sense in her whole life until that moment. And it's pretty much instant in love. And, and they're sort of kindred spirits in a way. I think that they were both kind of misfits in whatever time they were in. But when they're together, everything makes sense. I never met a woman who liked Jules Fred before. I never, ever met a man like you before. Bob Zemeckis always had me in mind for this part, and they met with me before they actually wrote the part for me. You know, and Mary, as soon as Doc says uh, the both of you, Mary Steenburgen just seemed like the one who was always perfect for the part. I mean, I've never had a second choice for this character, and if Mary had decided not to do it, I don't know what I would have done. And action! When they told me what, what they were planning, I was very excited. Plus, any excuse to ride a horse, you know. <laughs> Toby, I'm going to tell you this. To prepare for Back to the Future Part 3, Steenburgen had to brush up on her riding skills. But it didn't take her long to get up to speed. The last third of the film, I, f I feel like a female Indiana Jones, you know. <laughs> I loved it. And if anything, I had to watch myself because I would start to become unafraid of things. And I had to go, wake up, wait a minute, you're in danger. Mary is great. She adapts to this level of comedy and this pace very well. I mean, if people think of her in kind of, you know, gentle sitting room comedies or, you know, little dramas or whatever, she can go, she can keep up. Physical and really full of action, and it was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it because I haven't really done that. And rolling action. Steenburgen and co star Christopher Lloyd survived the rigors of shooting the action sequences, but it was the Hill Valley Festival dance scene that proved to be the most dangerous. Chris and I were, were kind of being overly zealous about our dancing one night, and he went one way and I went the other, and I tore a ligament in my foot, which made it not quite as much fun over the next few weeks to dance on it. But I found that what happened was I get so excited when they'd say action and we'd start to dance, it wouldn't really hurt until he'd say cut, and then I'd feel shooting pain going up my leg. But we had a great time. It was such a beautifully staged scene, and you knew that you were doing something that you weren't going to get to do really again in your career, in your life. You know, this was really special. I remember one night waiting to do a shot, and I just walked around by myself, around through the town, and I thought, you know, this is really, in true life, as close to time travel as you could experience. It was amazing. That's what it's about. It's about invention and magic and and imagination. And it's really rich with all of those.